your son Jesus Christ and be freed from your sin, ma'am. To be let out of the darkness so that you might see. Jesus Christ said that he is the light of the world. Ma'am, come to the light and leave the darkness. You don't have to stay in your sin any longer, ma'am. Because your sin is going to destroy you. Your sin is destroying you and it's destroying others around you. I mean, here you are, by yourself, in the middle of a street, supporting the murder of innocent children. Ma'am, look how weak your sign is compared to all of these signs that surround you, ma'am. That show the graphic and undeniable reality of abortion as child sacrifice. And you have this weak, thoughtless sign that you are holding up that most people probably can't even read. Toby's on fire And yet fire you can't right even, now. like, explain any substance that's behind your phrases and slogans. I challenge you, ma'am, to, to tell us the substance behind that slogan that you have there. Can you give any substance to it, ma'am? Can you come against any of the things that I have said? Can you refute the truth today, ma'am? I would invite you to come over and talk with us. I would invite you to reason with us, ma'am. I would invite you to do more than hold an empty slogan on a white piece of paper. I think you are capable of more than that, ma'am. Because you are made in the image of God. You do have the ability to reason. I invite you to use that ability today, ma'am. To think critically about this situation. And to think about your standing before a holy and righteous God. Who one day will judge all sinners. He will punish all sin because he is a God of justice, ma'am. He is a holy God. He is completely pure and without sin, and no unrighteousness will enter into His kingdom, ma'am. Ma'am, if you die in your sins, if you die unrepentant, if you die without faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to this world to hang on a cross and take the punishment that was due to us, an innocent man, taking the sins of the world upon himself to offer us freedom and righteousness, his very own righteousness, his perfect standing before his Father in heaven. Man, that is what he offers sinners. Free of charge, man. He just demands that you turn to him and bow your knee to him as Lord because that is what he already is. Ma'am, you are not the maker of your own destiny. You are not Lord of your life. That is the problem, ma'am. That is the rebellion against God, is that everyone thinks that they are God. But Jesus Christ is King of heaven and earth, ma'am. He is the one that will judge you when you die or when He returns to make war on His enemies. Those who did not love His appearing, Man, what are you living for? What's the meaning and purpose in your life? Because I can tell you, apart from God, meaning and purpose does not exist, ma'am. It cannot exist. Ma'am, I wish you would listen to what we're saying. I wish you would consider the things that we are saying. We are not saying them out of hatred towards you. We are not saying them because we despise you. We're not here because we want to bully these kids. We are here because we love the truth. And we love the one who is truth, who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, King of heaven and earth. And we are here to proclaim the good news that sinners can be forgiven and set free from their sin and walk in newness of life, ma'am. That is the message that we bring. Part of that newness of life is turning away from oppressing other people. Through faith in Jesus Christ, taking up a cross and sacrificing your good for the good of others, just like Jesus Christ did for sinners. How is that not a glorious message to you, ma'am? 
How does that message not scream to you to come and believe the good news of Jesus Christ? Why would you remain in sin and darkness, ma'am, instead of coming into the light and into freedom? Sin is not worth it, ma'am. Trust me, I lived in sin for nine long years. I loved the darkness. I indulged myself in the darkness, ma'am, with every pleasure I could think of. I lived for my pleasure. I lived for my sin. But man, it brought me nothing but hurt and pain and destruction. And it brought nothing but hurt and pain and destruction to those around me, ma'am. You can look around at our signs and look at the destruction and the carnage that your way of believing and living results in, ma'am. Your belief system, your worldview, your ideas result in the death of millions of innocent children every year, ma'am. That should be evidence enough that there is something wrong with the way you believe. That there is something wrong with your ideas and your values, ma'am. And what is wrong with them is that they are out of line with the objective foundation of truth of God. They are violations of the law of God, which is perfect and righteous, ma'am. And because of that violation of the law of God, you stand condemned here today, right now. The judgment of God is hanging over your head. And ma'am, you are not promised your next breath. You are not promised tomorrow. You may leave here today and breathe your last and go meet your maker. And at that time, the judgment of God falls. At that time, there is no more room for repentance. The opportunity to be saved and forgiven of your sin has passed. Man, we don't want you to die in your sin. We don't want you to continue in rebellion to God for 80 more years. We want you to know the freedom and the glory of living for Christ. We want you to be adopted as a child of God into the kingdom of God and doing the work of the kingdom of God, man. But yet you would trade all of that goodness an eternity of it for the temporary and passing pleasures of sin, ma'am. You can take none of those things with you. When you die, you will stand naked and bare, covered in your sin before a holy God, and you will be without excuse, ma'am. We have told you the truth today. You have heard the truth. You know the truth deep within your heart because God has placed it there. We encourage you not to continue to ignore it, ma'am. How y'all doing, man? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. You can give me a pump. It's okay, man. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, and, and, and show the, the woman that Toby was preaching to. That was fire, by the way. That was fire. That, that is what the Spirit of God is doing to get Christians, to get believers, not like professionals or anything like that or you know uh, uh, little popes or somebody with some kind of authority or somebody that has some kind of qualification from a seminary or something like that the Spirit of God is calling just regular believers you and me and anyone I've been hit up a lot on messenger like hey you know you know, thank you for what y'all are doing y'all are this is an awesome calling that you have you know y'all are uh, Y'all are like, you know, definitely like equipped. I wish I could be as equipped as you are and stuff like that. Well, look, that's garbage. Look, all you need is a willing heart. All you need is like Isaiah, like, Lord, here I am. Send me. I will go. That's all you need. It's a smokescreen to think that you need some kind of special equipping or some kind of professional training to get out here and to do what we are doing. All you need is a heart for Christ that is broken over sin in our nation, that is broken over the fact, that is 100% broken over the fact that these students in this secular humanistic indoctrination center are being inculcated with paganism, are being inculcated with a worldview that doesn't line up with the truth.
the protester that uh, that Toby was talking to probably had that worldview inculcated in her for her, ent her entire life. The worldview that man gets to decide what's right or wrong and that laws are an arbitrary feature of human society. All you need to do, Christians, is get out here and tell the truth. You don't need some kind of special qualification whatsoever. We don't need a special... Uh, and, and look, if you, if you want to see this, uh, this, this is the woman... This is the woman yesterday that tried to run over abolitionist Todd Bullets with her car. The one talking to him right now. Oh. No, neither one. I just wanted so to wreck a my, public record. So you're trying to invade my privacy by doing See, what now? Posting no. my license plate? You were in plate? public no. and you're trying yeah. to wreck me. You're facebook right now yeah. as though you care about so, your privacy. Come on. Uh, yeah. You are really so concerned yeah. about my privacy that you put my license plate on YouTube. But that's okay. You only have 68 members. You know you're being We've recorded. Why are you over here yeah. talking? Yeah. Ma'am, you did try to run him over yesterday. Ma'am, you know you did. Repent. 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 Okay. And look, we don't care about, it's not like our rights or my rights or my money or my tax dollars or anything like that. We're out here standing for the law of God, and that's why we're pointing out that kind of sin. It's not about, you know, what? Uh,